sense. I think a lot of the ML, you know, ML projects and stuff, you know, we've seen Lyft open source flight, Uber has a, a open source Horovod, like so much of what we um, draw inspiration from has been, you know, major companies open sourcing. And to some degree, you know, they may have the resources, they may have the, the clout to draw attention to their projects and, and set standards. You know, what kind of resources do you think a soft a startup has to focus on offering to an OSS project versus like a big company? And and how do you mm -hmm. kind of shape that component of the strategy? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that that's a great question. Now, I think many of the startups with whom we work, open source either will or will not be kind of a more fundamental part of their go-to-market strategy. And, and so... Um, it's less frequent where they're like just open sourcing a widget or component and, and more often that it is either you know, an open core model or um, uh, they're, they're open sourcing kind of a more significant part of their platform. Uh, so, so there's kind of a difference with regards to what they open source. But I think the question of how they approach it and how they kind of build a community around it is also super important. Uh, to be honest, I think like there's more of an onus on startups to solve really urgent and widespread problems than there is for you know, some of these larger companies. Uh, because again, for them, open source is a fundamental part of their strategy. And, and so you know, while a bigger company can open source something and if it doesn't get adoption, like that's fine. Uh, for startups, like that can actually you know, end up being uh, the straw that broke the camel's back. So, you know, they need to solve an urgent problem. They need to dedicate resources to it to ensure that you know, they continue to engage with the community. And, and perhaps this should be obvious across both, but like people can see the code. So the code, code quality better be good. Uh, you know, I think what we often find in, in how I advise my startups is like, if you think that you may open source something in the future, make sure that you are paying careful attention to both how you architect your code base, like you probably need to adopt microservices, but also like how you're writing the code, write as if this is going to be exposed to the entire world.